yet another unboxing video. And today, I actually have something really exciting for you all. Why do I do that every time? But for today's video, we're unboxing, well, I wanted to say five, but technically four gadgets that will possibly amp up your gaming lifestyle. So for today, to test all of these out, well, the ones that involve charging, I'm going to be using Alkin cords. It is a bit, you know, long. That's intentional. I intentionally found a 10 foot one, so you don't have to worry about how far away your outlet is to you, how uh, much space do you need. You instantly got it. I'll now be placing you to the table where we will unbox all the good stuff. So down here we have many gadgets. Damn. Why does Amazon tend to stuff with so much of the weird stuff in here? I think I actually have two gadgets in here. Put in the one. I have my little smart clip. And that's one gadget, but I'll actually start with showing you that first. I'll test this out with an actual controller later. But for now, I think we will move on to our next gadget. Oh, and then this is supposed to, I think, tighten it up. I don't know how that came loose or if it was ever even on. I don't think it ever was. Oh yeah, it's to tighten it up. Okay, I see. Very clever. We will be testing this out, by the way. Put that aside. The first gadget we might actually be testing out. This is a universal, yeah, you heard it right, universal charger. It's got four outlets in it. You can adapt it for regular Europe. I can't even get a focus on it. I'm so sorry. You can adapt it for regular European. If you want to go with the UK one, if I just stuck it by accident, oh no, it's just like that. Ah, right, yeah, there we go. And for the USA one, so we will be testing that out. So another, oh, can you have all? How does this work? You can have two at once. Oh my dear god. What is this we have just created? Alright, I'm gonna stop. I am really gonna stop. I think it's only meant to have one in there. I'm not gonna break it <laughs> because that's really important to me. Ah, uh, yes. Say. Do a little booklet for it, which we will not be needing. I will. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to show you was the, um. with the controller port. It gives you two grips to use. So I will definitely be putting those to good use. This top one came long before any of the others. And I mean long before them. And I think I ordered two of them at once. But like at the same time, this one was also kind of late. So, it's COVID. What are you going to do? Can't do too much about it. I think it did get a little bit damaged up, but it's like, it comes all the way from China? Goso Technology. Oh my god, let me see if I can not butcher this. Zhangshan City Goso Electrico. Oh my god. So many parts! You know what? Start throwing the packaging away. This is, holy hell, this is actually pretty freaking durable. Right, so how does this go? Uh, that's actually the current portion, my mistake. That goes on like that. 
And this must be the pen. Oh, okay, I see. This is also okay. I got that part of it. Let's get that over real long. So I guess the concept is you wind it like that, and then it generates power, and you do all sorts of outlets for it too. So that's pretty cool. So unfortunately, all of these are in Chinese. Or Japanese, so I might have to read the manual <laughs> and see how to do it. Oh, did we triple rack this? Never mind. Yes, they did. They triple racked it. What in the? Huh? All right. So this is just a solar panel. Uh, I think Amazon screwed me over and dented it a little bit, but I don't know how this works exactly. Like, I guess you put the thing in here and then put the thing. Wow, I'm such a ditz. The USB, you put it in here, and then I'll charge whatever device you're using. Clearly, I can't use it now because it's no sound. I think it, I think it just relies on heat. Yeah, I think it just relies on heat. That's all it does. Okay, yeah, because I can see the little wiring on the back. That's actually, that's pretty clever. I like that, and I definitely might test it out someday. You know what? When I go to test that out, I'll probably post it on my Instagram and or Facebook. For those of you that don't follow me on there, make sure you do. Links should be in the description below. If not, um, let me know in the comments. Because clearly I'm getting lazy. This next one, oh my god, I've been waiting for this one for so long. Some of you might be looking at this and you're like, Huh? What the fuck is that? My answer? Something that should make my typing a hell of a lot easier. I will actually probably test its efficiency. and how well it works, especially alongside my gaming mouse. It's time we make two gadgets go head to head. After I figure out how to work this, I will be testing it and charging for five minutes on both of these. Okay guys, so I've been trying with this thing for a while to get it working. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna have to look it up later because everything is in Japanese or China. Like I forget what it is. Japanese, Chinese. No, oh, forgot you guys can't fucking see it. But there, there must have been some kind of thing to hold the crank in that I'm missing or something. Because it just seems to come out way too easily. It, like it honestly does. And I gotta go looking for the screw later. Meanwhile, so that was an instant fail. Let's just see how quickly this charges. So set the, set the timer. Five minutes. See where it takes me. While I find that damn screw. Okay, and that is time. <clears throat> wow, it's brought it up 3% in 5 minutes. That's actually really nice. <clears throat> so I I would definitely recommend that block. I'm going to leave my phone in just because I want to be able to test it out for our little PS4 gadget, which <laughs> that entire time, I, I did give up on looking for that screw. I honestly think it's just a lost cause, but I, I might just haphazardly find it one day. You never know. But 
<clears throat> for the past like three out of those five minutes, I've been trying to get this thing on. I'm like really new to getting thumb grips on, so like, <laughs> if anyone has any suggestions, I'd be willing to take them. It's time to give the camera sort of a break and to go into our next clip, which is of me testing out oh, this beautiful, beautiful mechanical keyboard. Completely at the computer, and I'm about to play Left 4 Dead 2 to test all of this out. So how this looks is just really fucking. Hang on, so it looks even better. I don't know how it looks on camera, but goddamn it, I already love it. It just looks good to me. Oh yeah, and here's my mouse. Is it set for my gaming mode? Probably not. See, you can set it for different speeds. This is the slowest speed. That's about average speed. That's what I call my gaming speed. As this if you and this is if you want to pull like 360 no scopes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they match together pretty well because they're both RGB. But let me go ahead and set it to gaming mode. And I would normally just go right to typing for this. But you know, actually, I. Well. So it's like super duper responsive. I'm gonna exit out of that. So already, this feels a lot. Nick, where the fuck are you shooting? Oh, hi. Cover my ass while I cover yours. Um, I can explain. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure we blew most of these away. Oh god. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm definitely gonna use this for my new computer keeper. Oh. Then you want the chains up. Bastard. Fucking hunters. Chase this. Bitch. I probably used that the wrong way. Don't burn me! Oh no, I almost fell first. I almost fell off the goddamn. <coughs> hey bitch. What's it? Why am I so bad at this? By golly, there's a fire. That's the pretty thing. I think they're fucking suicidal. Pat bomb. I'm gonna keep this on me. Cause now, bah! it's like a sniper shot. This pipe bomb, perfect. You motherfucker! Uh, no. 
help me. Help, help. Fucking help me. God damn it. Leave it to coach, man. He's the MVP. He is forever the MVP. He is forever the MVP. Damn it. A hunter, that's better. Help me. Help, help me. I'm gonna need help. Now you gotta go You know what? Ah, oh, bitch. Coach, you crazy man, you. Now I'm gonna have to get the speed of the shot. Oh, right through the fire. Right in the fire. Oh my god. This is, uh, this is devastating. Fucking devastating. And I don't think any of them can help me. I've, I've gone in the fire. So it seems. Oh my god. Thank you, Gutsy. I say just fucking shoot. It's safe to say, this keyboard is dope. I mean, even when you don't want it on and you just love the typewriter effect, that's fine, you can do that too. But I really love the RGB. I'm, look, it may be said as for kids or whatever, but I am a sucker, an absolute sucker for the RGB. So I'm going to be playing Minecraft with the little controller. Only because that's the only game I have updated right now. I I selected really. So as you can see, I do have full hands on the controller. I'm not touching anything up here. What the hell? I mean, it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh shit, I cleared my hotbar. Who knows what kind of expensive shit I had in there. <gasps> oh, well, god damn it. <laughs> like, I have nothing against it. It works. It definitely works. Here, let me try swapping some stuff. I can't even tell if I'm flying. If it is the controller, I don't think it... I don't think it's the controller. Chicken again. All right, there we go. Oh my god. It must have just been a really weird connection or something.
Yeah, there we go. I, see, I know I'd figure it out eventually. Sir? Oh no, here we go again. It's not spinning in one direction. I definitely think at this point it's about just like remapping controls. Uh, oh, nope. See, it's glitchy whenever you get to these two. It's not glitchy before that. I don't know why that is. I don't know. So one more thing before I stop. I think I forgot to mention how persistent I am. Especially to get something like this working. So I'm going to work a little bit and see how to get this working. I hope I can. I also taped it down so the thing wouldn't pop out. That is actually uh, exhausting, <laughs> but it's it works. It does work, and it's good in a pinch. So I do see how it works. I understand it now. All chargers that are for like phones and stuff, they will be five volts. So I'm probably going to keep it set for that. And you'll have like six, nine, twelve, and fifteen volts. So I do understand. Like that thing is nice. But for now, until I need it in a pinch, I'll just stick to my classic wall chargers. They work efficiently without all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that probably pretty long video. I did make sure to trim as much as I could to make it all better for you guys. It's not as strenuous, but what can you do? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like on this video if you have enjoyed. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel. Please be sure to share or comment down below if you thought your favorite part of this video was, or rather I should say, what your favorite of the gadgets was. Mine? I mean, the keyboard. Everything else was just about a pretty big fail, except for the box. That thing is... Oh yeah, me, me and that thing are going places. We're we're gonna have fun. Um, I do have gotta figure out behind that controller thing. It did not come with the controller, by the way. That was my own controller. Um, I might have to piss around with it a little bit more. I hope I didn't damage my controller trying to get the thumbsticks on and upload it as soon as I can and make sure it doesn't get released on. Till about somewhere in Tuesday or Wednesday morning. Yeah, Wednesday morning would be good. That's about normal upload time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, it was fun doing these unboxing videos. I, I really do enjoy doing this. I really do. Especially when you're talking about like gamer gear type stuff. Like this, this isn't bad. It's not a bad concept. And it does work. Somehow, but it does work. I just haven't figured out how yet. Anyway guys, for now, stay off the Alliance Junior.